Hello. In this tutorial, what we're going to be discussing is basically the engine and brake properties of chassis sim. Now, to edit those, all you need to do is either click on the engine icon here or where it says uh, to adjust here, click engine. So, as you can see, this brings up our engine power curve and our engine brake um, curve. Now, the power curve here is basically entered in kilo, uh, is basically entered in kilowatts, and you plot RPM here. Now, you have um, the option of changing the number of points here, which is indicated here. So, what we could do is we could change this to 15 points and just click on change number of points, and this changes the number of points. Or you can set it back to 10. Um, the, the the choice of what you do is up to is up to you. Obviously, your power is entered as positive. Your engine brake is entered in as negative. This sets your minimum RPM. This sets your max RPM or red line. This is your RPM shift limits. And typically, as a rough rule of thumb, you set that to about 85% of about the max RPM. That control there is basically to um, help you short shift in um, high, is to help you model short shifting in high speed turns. Now, uh, for modeling clutch delay, this is uh, this basically models your engine efficiency, and to model your clutch delay, this is what the gear shift properties are for. Basically, here you specify the time delay um, uh, for the gear shift in seconds, the minimum torque percentage um, that you expect during the shift, and it's and the ramp time to re-engage. Just a word of advice on implementing that. Um, for your initial modeling, I would suggest you leave that as um, the current set to, as the current set defaults. Then you can uh, then you can get cute with it. Uh, then you can get cute with it a little bit later. But ultimately, uh, I leave that at the, at the discretion of the vehicle modeler. Now, this section in here describes the brake pro property. So what we've got is that we've got this parameter FB brake. This parameter FB brake basically represents the maximum possible braking force you can get out of your braking system. Now, as rough rules of thumb, if you've got carbon brakes, then you would typically set this to something like 30,000 newtons. So basically at the point where the tire uh, where the tires couldn't possibly match that, or if you're dealing with iron brakes, a good rule of thumb is about 14,000 um, 14, newtons for something like F3, Star, Mazda, and um, equivalent um, formula. Just a word of advice on FB brake, the best way of matching that is comparing your actual to real data, because that way it'll give you the best indication of how to dial that in. Your front brake bias is basically specified here, so currently it's set at 60, uh, the uh, brake bias is set at 60% on the front. You also have the option of biasing this to the side, which is basically, and this is the percentage of brake balance on the left-hand side, and right now, obviously, it's set to 50%. For those of us running symmetric setups, we really don't need to worry about that. That's really only really comes uh, it comes into play for those people who don't need to um, worry about, uh, who do need to worry about uh, the effects of biasing, um, so, uh, biasing side braking. TD brake is uh, a parameter for future development, but currently does not have an effect. Now, with your engine curve, you have the uh, you have the option of exporting this engine curve out. Please note that engine model will only export the power curve only. So to export the engine out, you simply click on export engine, navigate to a directory of your choice, and call the engine test engine, and you would put in here whatever you'd like to call it. I'll just put in my engine. Click on OK and that basically enters the parameters for you. And to import an engine, all you've got to do is click on Import Engine and choose the appropriate engine file. And once you're happy with all those changes to commit, you just simply click on OK and that, and that commits it to the model.